Hello, today I'm going to be quickly going over how to create flat eye meshes for your avatar uh, so that you can use uh, any of my parallax eye shaders. Um, so first things first, um, this is what a normal avatar's eye looks like. Generally it's curvy, wavy, not flat at all, and that doesn't play well with parallax shaders. Um, so I'm going to go kind of quick through this. If you have any problems, you can always ask in support my Discord. Um, and here we go. So the model I'm going to use as an example today is uh, Mariana by Astrofluff on Gumroad and Selfie. It's a great avatar. I highly recommend picking it up if you like this style. Um, and yeah, let's get right into it. So first things first, you need to find your FBX. So if you select your avatar in Unity, you should see an animator pop up on the side and you can select um, this slot and that will bring you straight to your FBX. Um, once there, you're going to need to open up Blender and I've already imported uh, the avatar just to save some time, but you would come in, go File, Import, FBX, click on that, it'll pop up a window and you just search for your FBX. Uh, alternatively, you can drag your FBX into that import window and it'll bring you straight to it. So you just select, select that and uh, let it do its thing and your avatar will be imported into Blender. Um, so at this point, there's a few things that we need to do. First, we want to check to see if our eyes, current eyes have any weight painting on them. So doing this is pretty simple. Make sure that you're in the item mode uh, and Enter edit mode, so select, let me just go back over that, select body, edit mode. Um, your avatar might have other options, so if any of them are like eyes or face, uh, generally eyes are under face, um, you want to enter edit mode on anything that looks like it might contain the eyes until you see the eyes turn into this where you get vertices. So in order to check if we have any weight panning on the the eyes, we're going to look over here and we can see the vertex weight. So in this case, right eye weight 0.5, this side left eye weight 0.5. So yeah, we have bones called right eye and left eye respectively that have weighting of 0.5 on those, uh, on those eyes. So that's the type of thing to write down for later because it'll be needed later. Um, once we have our flat eyes in place, we're going to need to re-weight paint them to those values. Um, so I would recommend popping back out into object mode, and we want to come up to add, mesh, circle. So this is going to create a circle down near the bottom of your uh, avatar. It's probably going to be bigger than, uh, than the size, but that's easy to fix. You just come in, type in 0 0.01 for the radius. Um, make sure that your fill mode is set to n-gon, um, because there's no manipulation of the mesh beyond it just like existing. Uh, and Ngon is fine here. And then you want to come into rotation and set it to 90 degrees. So at this point, just to double check that everything is okay, you want to come up here, click face orientation, and make sure that the blue face is facing forward. There we go, we've got our eye mesh ready. <laughs> um, so now from here, we want to add a few modifiers to this to this mesh. So the first one's going to be an arbitrary modifier, and specifically we want to drag our armature from our avatar into that. Um, okay, that can just sit there. Okay, and now we're going to want to move that circle up into place of our eyes. So, circle, right up to our forehead. You can use the, uh, the isomorphic view to check, and right over where our eyes are. So now you can see that that's like right about where our eyes are. That's probably centered. Pull it forward. Generally, I pull it beyond the head just because I know that it's going to take a second to position exactly right. As you can see here, my eyes have a slight curve to, to them. They, they go slightly inward, so that could be achieved by just rotating. You can 
back a little bit and finish rotating. Getting a little bit crazy here. That looks about good to me. It doesn't have to be perfect. Really, it's about what you think looks good and making sure that you aren't over the edges of your eyes. That looks good to me. Now we're going to come in here and add a second modifier, this time the mirror modifier. And for mirror object, you want to slot that armature and you should see that it pops right in there which is good. Now one more thing you might want to do is select circle and you might want to scale it slightly so this really depends and you might have to play around with it a little bit but I find that creating oval shaped eyes creates a better outcome in the end so slightly ovaled eyes. Um, that might be a little bit too harsh so let me There we go. Okay. So now the next step is to select our body, head over to edit mode, and we want to delete the existing eye meshes that were, were underneath. So select any vertice, hold down control, press L, that selects any linked vertice. Um, in most cases, this will just select the eye um, that was already there. Uh, if it doesn't, you might have to manually come in and select all those vertices, uh, which might be a little tedious, but most times Control l should, should do the job. Hit X, oops, X, and delete vertices. There you go, that, that eye's gone. Now we're going to do the same over here, Control l X, vertices. Um, for this avatar, I happen to know that there's actually two eye meshes here, so uh, with both deleted, we're good to go. So. The one last thing that we, we have to do is we had to add the weight painting to these eyes and then join them. So I'm going to head back to object mode, these two, and head to edit mode. So at this point we have one circle that is mirrored over the two sides. So we're just going to quickly come in here and pop back into object mode because I forgot to apply the mirror modifier. <laughs> and pop back in edit mode. Now you can see that we have both eyes ready to be weight painted. So before we continue, we probably want to join these eyes to the armature or the body, I should say. So we want to select both these, making sure to collect the select the eyes before the body, and hit Control J and they're joined into the body now, so they're now part of the body mesh. You can come to edit mode, and we can select our eyes, and you can see that they're, they're looking good. They're, they're right in the, the body. So here we're going to affect their weights now. So if we select this eye, control L, and then we want to come to the right eye vertex group. So that should be found uh, under this little green symbol. Scroll down until you find your, your eye. Um, if you have multiple bones that affect your eyes, make sure you do this for each bone. And we want to click Assign. Now we're going to make sure that we set it to the same value as before. So in this case, it's 0.5. And that eye is good. Do the same thing on this side. Control L, this time with left eye. Sign five, and now our eyes are weight painted. So, yeah, we're 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 on the right track. Um, one last thing that we need to do is UV map. So, if I control L and head into the UV editing mode, we're just here to double check that these properly take up the entire UV. This is how you want your UV map to look where each vertice goes around in a circle and they're towards the edges. Like that's, that's the perfect thing. And so we can select 
this one and just like the other one. Yep, we're good. Um, I almost forgot. We also need to separate out the materials. So in here, I happen to already have RI from the previous um, avatar. Um, I'm just going to come in here, remove unused slots, and that you can see that got rid of RI because it's unused. Um, and LI seems to have remained, and we're going to assume that that's assigned to something important. Um, every avatar is going to be a little bit different, um, but ideally you want as few as possible. Okay, so actually in this case it looks like LI got assigned to our eyes, which is interesting. But we're going to come in here and deselect. And I guess it'll be fine if we if we use li, which I'm going to rename left eye to assign the left eye. So select this, control L, click here, and we're doing the same thing as before with the um, where we're clicking assign. And now li should select the left eye. Off, select. There we go. Um, I also accidentally mapped a vertice over here, so I'm going to control Z back until that's no longer the case. Just double checking, this selects both of them. Yep. That vertice, control L, assign, grab and space, select. That's selected. The other one is also selected now, but if we come in and a is <laughs> new material, all this right eye doesn't really matter what order they're in. Uh, Unity doesn't seem to respect that. <laughs> and we select this vertice, Control L, assign. Now when we Click select, we see right eye, left eye, we click select, that's left eye. So now they're on two separate materials, and this will let us assign two like different materials, one for each eye, so that we can have different colored eyes or different styles or patterns on our eyes. Um, and that is pretty much it. We've gotten to the point where the avatar is ready to be brought back into, um, into Unity. Uh, it is important and I would recommend just double checking that uh, the back face is still facing in the right direction. Um, you can hit here, normals, and if you turn down the size, you can make it somewhat bearable to check. <laughs> and it looks like we're good. You can see this one ray that comes out the center of the eye, indicating that the, the normals are facing forward. Okay. So once we are done with that, come into File, click Export, and FBX. Uh, I'm going to export this off camera, and then we'll be back in Unity. Okay, when exporting, there are a few things that you need to do. One, you should select the exact FBX name as the one previously. Uh, I highly recommend you back up your project before doing this because this could potentially mess up your project. Two, make sure to turn on FBX all and apply scaling. And three, in armature, make sure you unselect add leaf bones. You'll have to do these two steps every time you export um, after closing or opening Blender. Uh, I believe they save between exports as long as you keep Blender open out though. Hit export. And wait, okay, slight technical hiccup there. But at this point, you should be good to import my shader and parallax eye shaders. And one little note here if you don't already have a shader installed that uses Thry Editor like Poyomi, uh, you will need to download that and install that separately to get the nice little divisions on the shader, um, the little fold-out drawers, um, and I will have a link to that on the product page for you. So yeah, you can just slap it in and we're good to go. That. 
that's about it. Get to, to editing the shader.